Hey everyone, Marcus here. In today's video, I want to talk about Renko's. So if you haven't heard of Renko's before, chances are, since you've been interested in QuantView, you have. At QuantView, the majority of strategies are designed for and on Renko. In fact, all strategies except QChronos and QZeus, which is uh, basically also QChronos. So what are Renko's? Why are they being used? And how are they different from regular charts? First of all, a little piece of nerd information. Renko comes from the Japanese word renga, which means brick. You'll see why brick in a minute. And it's actually been around for a long time. So it's not a new thing. People say that it's been in use since the 1700s. That's over 300 years. So all the way back then, merchants used Renkos to determine the movement of the price of whatever they were selling or buying. All right, what are Renkos? We're looking at the chart here, a regular NQ five minute candle chart. This should look familiar to you. So you've got the regular candle here. You've got an open and a close and the low and the high. You probably know all this. You see it's moving and you see it's moving in five minute intervals. Let's, to illustrate my point, let's change it to 10 seconds. You probably know this already, but it's important for the distinction between candles and Renko's. So in a 10 second, on a 10 second chart, a new candle is being formed every 10 seconds. So this one in a few seconds here, we go a new one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And sometime now there should be a new candle. Here we go. So 10 second chart means one candlestick is 10 seconds. Within those 10 seconds, we have, as I mentioned, the open, the close, the low and the high. Yeah, but every 10 seconds, no matter what, no matter if there's movement or not, if there's nothing, looks a bit like this. Well, open and close almost the same. Here, big candle, a lot of movement within 10 seconds. No matter what, on a 10 second chart, every 10 seconds, there will be a new candle. Uh, by the way, we see that jump because it's 8 a.m. right now. So there's a bit of action going on. Okay, this is the same for, say, Haikanashi. 10 second Haikanashi candles, they work a bit differently. By the way, very interesting thing to look into Haikanashi if you haven't already. They look a bit different. They're a bit smoother, but same thing. Time based, which means every 10 seconds, there is a new Haikanashi candle which shows what happened to the price within those 10 seconds. Now, let's go back to five minutes. On Renko's, it is a bit different. So let's switch to Renko's. You go here, down here, you see a Renko. If you cannot see that, it likely means you're not on the right trading view plan to see that. As far, uh, when last I checked, it was limited to the upper tiers of trading view subscriptions. So you might want you might want to upgrade to see Renko's. Click on Renko and all of a sudden it looks very, very different. These little guys are the bricks, hence Renga brick. So how do they form? Why are these dark red? These are bright red. Let's look into that. Renkos don't form on time, but they form on volume. That is the one big difference. Let me open up the settings. You see the box size here. Let me change this to five. So all that means, box size five means every single one of these bricks Every single one represents a five point move. So here we had, we were here and then we moved up five points, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 points. So that, that's a 40 point difference. Now you could say, hey, this looks like regular candles in a different shape. No, it's not. It's strictly volume based. The time doesn't matter. You see this here, nothing's happening because there is not enough change in price to justify a new brick. So right now we have a bit of movement, but let's say it's very quiet. Let's say it's whatever, shortly before close, there's not much happening or after 4 p.m., not much happening. No new bricks will form, which means it'll just stay there. It will not, like regular candles, advance every 10 seconds or every minute or whatever I've set it to. This strictly forms when there's enough movement to justify a new brick. Let's make it a bit quicker. So you may ask, if these only form on price difference, 
what's the point of having a time frame at all? I'll show you. So let's change it to one so we see a little bit more action. Remember, we change it to one. That means a new brick is formed every one point in difference. That should speed things up a bit. Here we go. So we see price is going up. One, one, one. You see it's dark green here, light green here. That means during those 15 seconds we selected, all of this can happen. It can go up, it can go back down, it can go further down, and it'll only be printed permanently once that 15 second window is closed. See, dark green, we're waiting, dark green, and you'll see in a few seconds, it'll turn light green, boom, that's it. Same thing, let's make it even quicker. Let's go on a five second chart. Let's see, dark green, dark green within, within those five seconds, and it'll turn green, light green, Boom, light green, here you go. That is the big difference. So these only form when there's price movement. If nothing moves, nothing forms. And within the window of time you select up here, they will temporarily form, but they could unform for lack of a better term, and they're only printed permanently once that time frame is over. That also explains my last point. Why do we always say that Renko backtesting is unreliable. Actually, let's split that into why is Renko backtesting unreliable? Because we don't have those fixed time intervals where trading you could go back and say, hey, okay, three days ago, three days, 14 hours, 26 minutes, and 19 seconds ago, what was the price? It can do that because it has the time based intervals. With Renko, it's volume based only, which makes it much, much harder for trading you to go back and calculate a precise price. It's not completely useless, and there's a lot more technical details behind it than I'm mentioning now, but for lack of a more in depth explanation, backtesting is hard when it's volume based only, because the backtest will pick a entry or exit point for a trade, that's likely not what really would have happened because it's hard to go back and determine the volume movements. Now, last question, why is it not advised to run Renko's on higher timeframes? So usually uh, when QuantView does something, it's usually designed on a one second, which means every second, oh, this is actually a good example. Every second, if there's enough movement, a new brick is printed, boom, one second. That wasn't one, not enough movement. That wasn't one, not enough movement. So the next time we have enough movement in price and one second passes, a new brick will be printed. Um, one second is fine because it's quite quick in responding and permanently printing those changes. Five seconds works. Now I've gone all the way up to 30 seconds, which as you may have noticed, makes things a bit smoother. We go back to five seconds, there's a lot more up and down, green, red, green, red, green, red, because it's permanently printed every five seconds. Now let's go to 30 seconds. That's actually not that big of a difference, but if we go up even higher, let's go to a minute. See, to illustrate my point, it's only a little bit green, more red. So it smooths out because as I mentioned before, now that it's on one minute, within that one minute, it could go up, 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 down, 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 back up, back down, but it only prints once that movement is finalized every one minute. That's why the higher you go, the smoother it looks. You go like this, see how it looks very smooth? You go back to one second. Every one second it's finalized, so up and down movements are much quicker finalized than printed on the chart. Now, this may look wilder, one, I get why it's tempting to you say a one minute. Oh, this looks very smooth. This could be, could be a good strategy. Five minutes. Ooh, perfectly smooth. Imagine getting in here, getting into a long and getting out here. Very easy. It's tempting, but it doesn't work. It simply doesn't work because within those five minutes, you could have such a big change in price that it can completely throw off your strategy. I haven't found a single strategy that works well on Renko's above 30 second time frames. In fact, usually my favorite is I'll change this to a four and to 30 seconds, just so we see what this looks like. So just to recap, Renko box size four on a 30 second chart means every one of these little bricks is a four point move. In this case, down, short up, down, down, down. Every one is a four point move and it permanently prints on the screen every 30 seconds. That's when the system goes back and checks for the price and it says, yep, that's right, we'll print it. 
Within those 30 seconds, it goes up and down. And now, because we've changed it to four, actually not a lot is happening, see? Because there's not enough movement to warrant a new brick. So my favorite 30 second box size four, please don't go above 30 seconds because it becomes very unreliable, no matter, no matter how tempting it is. Last question, are they interchangeable? Can you use a Renko strategy and just apply it onto regular candles or the other way around? Can you use, say, Q Kronos and go and apply it on Renkos? Yes, you can try. Hypothetically, you can. There's a reason those have been designed on the type of chart they were. It's because they work best that way, but there's infinite possibilities and options for configuration and figuring out new things. So it might just work. If you have the time to do that and if you feel that it could be benefit to it, please do. Please switch around back and forth. Go to Heikanashi, go to regular candles, go to Renko, try them out. You could just find something magic that nobody has found before you. But there's a reason they were designed for a specific chart. If you want the safe bet, go for that. And whatever you do, don't trust backtesting, especially not on Renko's. Forward test, forward test, forward test, and good luck.